What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Planet Base. We are on episode like 23. That is insane. So many episodes. This this one started on episode 8, so it's like 15 episodes in that we've actually survived, which is a good like 7 or 8 hours. That's pretty crazy. So, I looked at all of your comments. Oh my gosh. You guys are so smart when it comes to things. So, one thing that I'm going to be doing is right over here. This this medical facility is going to get these vitro meats. These are all going to be gone. Go away vitro meats. We don't need you. Go away. Gee, it's like panning really fast when I touch the edges of the screen now. This is going to be a full... Oh, I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Maybe it's just because... Eh. Maybe these just take up a lot more room. Basically just, I'm going to do that. And be able to high priority this entire room. Because it's only going to have medical supplies. Or workbenches. And also, it's going to be fine because... We have some medicinal pads over here, which are taking that to that storage. We have a couple over here, which is taking it to this storage. So it's going to be not a super long trip for them. Okay, so another thing is that people really wanted me to look over here more. Basically, I have some really like small power, power generation and power storage over here compared to what I'm building now. So what I could do is I could just like get rid of this, maybe get rid of just these. Basically, I don't have to deconstruct this entire thing to be able to move over here, but I can get rid of just some of it, like, uh, yeah, like the small wind turbine and the small wind turbine, and maybe even if I have to, I can get rid of this storm and build off of that so it isn't a dead end. And something I'm going to be looking at going forward, because, I mean, you guys, you guys have told me pretty much everything, everything you want and need me to do. And also, a lot of my food storage issue is I was trading a bunch all at the same time. And because of that, all of my people were removing things rather than... ...actually... ...actually doing their jobs. That's basically what it was. We got a couple more workers. And also quit yelling at me about engineers, I'm letting in people. Like... Engineers are on my list. Here, I'll even- I'll bump it up to 25%. And we'll bring down biologists. Actually, we'll bring down worker. Eh, we'll keep up workers. Bring down biologists. Bring up this. Yeah. So that'll go to 25%. Biologists will be 30%. Workers will be 35 And medics will be 10 And, um... I do have the two telescopes up now. They aren't always being worked, but I do have them on high priority, so... Hopefully that's just a matter of getting more engineers and fixing that. But I am going to put another anti-meteor laser over here. And I'm also going to work on getting one to the right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start plopping it down. And remember, it works in a radius. I heard a ship. It's a trading ship. Okay. So anti-meteor laser out there. What do you have? Trading ship. Nothing of interest. Go away. Pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. And let me look at my milestones really quick, actually. I'm actually really curious about that. I need to build a monolith. I need to acquire 8 techs. And I need to reach a population of 300. So, look at my metal right now. I know that I need it for my expansion plans. But I also know that I really want that milestone. You're a good guy. Yeah, you're a good guy. So, guess what? I think I might get a monolith. I might get, I might shove a monolith somewhere. Also, some people were telling me to try to um, bug out the game a little bit by like uprooting one of these power collectors and keep rebuilding stuff over here to try to flatten the land. I, I tried. I tried for about 10 minutes uh, off camera. Not, I wasn't saving obviously. But I tried, and it just doesn't work. So, sadly, that is, that's just not something that I, I can do. 
I also need a, maybe one or two more dorms because... Actually, this one should be fine. When visitors come and they're sleepy, they aren't going to use cabins. They're going to use dorms. Someone mentioned my oxygen issues over here. I think it's fine. Personally. I think this is okay. But maybe I can get an oxygen generator somewhere if I wiggle enough. I think I already tried this once, and I just couldn't wiggle enough to get it on there. Like, see, I think that I should be able to place right here. And, like, right here. But I guess the game doesn't think so. That's cool. So, anti-meteor laser, that should be going up any second now. It looks like it has all of its things. What kind of ship are you? It's a visitor ship. Are you guys... You guys cool? I'm so paranoid about these. He is really unhappy. And you are really sleepy. So they're gonna go have to find a bed that isn't owned by someone else. Alright, now let's look at the mess that I made over here. Died due to combat wounds because I don't have the medical supplies. Ugh. That happens. It happens. That's... That's something that I did. I knowingly did that because my medical supplies got really low. Um... My bioplastic is actually kind of low, partly because I've just been building a lot of bioplastic process- or I've been using a lot of metal processing instead of bioplastic processing. So I think if I tear this down, it's gonna hurt my redundancy really bad, so I am going to continue building over here before I tear any of that down. But if I can get this to attach to both, I would build it here. Why... why do you have to be so picky? Place near an existing structure. Structure. This is an existing structure. Maybe right here. There. Sandstorm approaching soon. We actually have a ton of warning on that. So I'm not too concerned about it until the second warning. Trading ship. This has GM onions for 55% commission. Now, I could trade for it very easily, in fact. I could do... I could do something like that with some uh, some medical supplies and some coins. I'm not going to. Partly because of the sandstorm. Partly because of that. Partly because I want everything to continue going up. Okay, geez. Visitor ship, three of ya. What do we got? Got some hungry folks, some unhappy folks, and some sleepy folks. Kinda sad that someone died to... to just... to just being shot. Sandstorm imminent. Okay, so it didn't give me the double warning like I was expecting. So that was my bad. But it should be... Mo mostly... mostly fine. Yeah, mostly fine, as I have no medical supplies and I just sent everyone outside to be hurt forever. Even the visitor's like, okay, you suck here, I'm, I'm done with you. Yeah, I was actually kind of expecting the double warning like I got the first time, so. That was a dumb. We, we almost have all of the metal placed for this, though. I just, I want the milestone. I want to have both planets unlocked. And this is how you do it. So, here we go. Come on, Monolith, get built. So I can start expanding my power over there as well. In fact, I can probably still just do my power out here. Let's do a little bit more wind. We'll tack you on. We'll, we'll double connect this one. I do need the redundancy. So we have the double anti-meteor laser, which is pretty good. I will be getting another one over here, like I said. I promise, I'll get to it. In fact, I might... I might see... No, I think that'd be a little bit close to that one. I think it'll be like in this area-ish. Spares are being used to restore all of that. That's fine. Hey! It got zapped. Wow, this monolith is ready to be built. Are you ready to see it? Because it's about to go up. Visitors have paid 20 coins for services, that's cool. 
That was a SpongeBob reference, if you didn't get it. I probably did it terribly, but... There's my big black monolith. Look at it! You have proven what you're capable of. Yeah, I have. I did that. It's casting a shadow on my solar panel. Maybe I should have thought about that. I don't think it's actually going to affect it, but that's kind of funny. Actually, is it? No, it's not affecting it. For a second, I was like, wait. No, it's not actually affecting it. As God, that would be terrible. I hope they never, ever make that a thing, where shadows... Oh no, there goes a carrier bot. And I am still making carrier bots constantly. Um, if I could find... That's a visitor ship, alright. If I could find it... I think... Yeah, someone mentioned that I should probably get another repairing place. So I'm going to do that. Here you go. Enjoy your new carrying... or er, repairing place. And we're still gonna be constantly making carrier bots, because carrier bots are amazing. If I can find the tab that has my bots... We have 10 of those, 3 drillers, and 4 constructors. Pretty good. What kind of ship are you? You're a colonist ship. Hey, more people. Biologist, worker, and engineer. So hopefully that means our telescopes will be going all the time. It looks like one or both of them currently are. Which is great. We are at 131 people. My food is still concerning me. Still actually concerning me, but my medical supplies are going up again. Thanks to me doing this. Thanks to you guys. This is the best way I can put it. Thanks to me doing things that you said for me to do. Okay. Now I'm going to get more power collecting over here. I don't know why it isn't letting me build out here. It's probably because this is actually the edge of the map. So, we're going to go for maybe a power collector and a large solar panel. And I will try to get the radio antenna, I promise. It's just I have, I really want to be able to expand to the right. And so I'm working on that. Where is solar panel? Thank you. Seven. And then... The power collector is, like, right there. Uh, we'll tack on the redundancy right here. So that's going to be a lot of metal, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be 100% worth it, because after that's built, I'm going to be pretty confident in tearing down maybe this wind turbine, this solar panel. <sighs> Cabin has no oxygen. So this is something that someone actually brought up. They said that at night when people are actually sleeping in it, they are consuming the oxygen, and that's when it's becoming an issue. But they're still getting the sleep that they need. So see, people are going in and they are using the oxygen in the room. And that's why over here keeps having issues. But my only way of fixing that would be to remove this power collector and shoving in another oxygen thing here, which I might do. That might be a thing that I do. I mean, I did it over here. Trading ship. Which which one of you has a trading ship? Uh, this is two constructor bots. I think I want the carrier bot. And I'm just, I'm just gonna trade away my six spares. I think that's okay. Yeah, I don't- I'm not gonna trade away the coins. Six spares is A-OK -okay with me. For a carrier bot. Um, so let's actually- and I know I don't need only power storage, I need generation as well, but... I like having power storage, alright. Yeah, I think I'm actually out of space over here. Can you imagine if I actually tried to build right here? And then I just suddenly didn't have space before I realized it. I came really close. This is actually, I think, the end of the road here. So which spot do I want to get rid of over here? And that's such a tough choice. 
because I think I can weasel my way through here. Everyone has had their own suggestions of how I get rid of this. But I think I might be able to get rid of the storm and weasel my way through. There's not a whole lot I can do down here. Besides, maybe get rid of this wind turbine, but I'm not planning on it. I can get rid of this. And in fact, let's... Let's get the redundancy right there now, so when I get rid of this, this isn't the only thing holding on to all of this out here. That would be bad. I think I'm gonna go through this way. I'm gonna cut straight through. I think that's the plan. Meteor has been destroyed. Yeah, we are destroying a ton of lasers with these two anti-meteor lasers. I'm still really proud of this monolith. It says I got 30 prestige from it. Now remind me, really quick, about prestige. Um, con not conditions, colony ships, text, milestones. Where? Base management? Charts? Stats? Spit? Whatever. Ignore it. I don't necessarily know what a higher prestige is. I think I just might get more- oh, one of my constructor bots died. I might just get more, um, visitors in each ship. I'm not entirely sure. And bot auto repair is being- is built, so they can repair themselves way more often now because that does take a little bit. Cool. Medical supplies are still going up. I will be looking at more possibilities of expanding that some more. This is a colonist ship. I'm going to have to watch and make sure it's not intruders. It is not. We did get another medic, though. Yeah. Yeah. This power collector is coming up. I'm not doing so bad on metal and all of that. Four visitors. Is that four? For a second I thought I saw five and I was about to turn on some alerts. Watching you guys. Yeah, seven medical supplies now. Look at that. This is a trading ship. They have semiconductors and driller bots. Well... Driller bots are really good, but they have a 65% commission. And that is just far too much for me. Far, far, far too much for me. And as soon as I can try to get the driller bot patent, I'm really going to push for it. So, first off, I think we need to fix this oxygen situation. So we are going to get rid of that. And as soon as I can, I'm going to build a O2 generator right in here. I will wiggle around until I can. They just have to actually move those materials. Which it looks like a couple of my bots are coming out to get those. What kind of ship are you? That's- oh shit. Red alert. Oh god, and even one of them is coming over here. Oh god, we are about to go to freaking war. This guy might cause issues. Yep. Yep. Intruder has been killed. Two intruders have been killed. So this guy is not going to the planned airlock. There's still a red alert. And there's no way that I can move my people over here. We can turn on the arms workshop again. That's fine. Where the fuck are you going? I'm watching him. Where are you going? Are you just doing laps around my base? I will shoot you with an anti-meteor laser. God, if I could. Okay, he's in there. He's in there. Okay, how much trouble is he going to get into? Oh my god. Oh my god. No! 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 <laughs> my worker! Oh! Okay, we lost Edmund Fitzpatrick. Ah, <sighs> damn. We we lost a person to an intruder. because I think it's because there are so many intruders that they just all didn't go in here. 
Wow, that was that's pretty nuts. All right, big oxygen. I just saw that it was able to attach, unless it was the small guy. Does someone want to move that metal so I can so I can adequately place this? Thank you. Okay, come come on. There we go. So once that's built, the oxygen will stop being an issue. And we're going to attach it there, just so it spreads a little bit better, because that's how I think it works. Semiconductor's still pretty low, but that's because we're constantly making bots. Another um, constructor bot just died. Wow, there's a lot happening lately, just because I'm constantly doing stuff. They've got a little bit of alcohol over here. Structure's out of oxygen. Yes, I'm currently working on that. But I think it's it's starting to be safe to start working over here as soon as that oxygen is built. Any any time now. I just need an engineer or constructor bot, anything. Anything to come out here. Anything at all. Anyone. Take your pick. I mean any uh, no? None of you? There. Thank you, CNT-24. You're no CNT-6, but I mean, you're something. Hey, oxygen! Look at it filling up, it is so happy over here. 55 coins for my services, I'm doing- I'm pretty serviceable out here. Solar flare imminent, thank you. Alright, good thing we started getting more medical supplies because we are in a bad spot right now. Actually, I don't think any of our beds are taken. None of our beds are currently taken, so all medical supplies are currently actually going up. Yeah, that's pretty good. I kinda wish... that beds just like had a spot that they would store one medicine. So that could just sort of be like, planned out, but I guess that's fine how it is now. So one person got radiated over here. Looks like one got radiated and one uh... One's a little bit malnourished. But overall, not horrible. I'm still really looking at my food situation. Also, I was told that I can shift-click things in. Alright, red alert- or yellow alert can come off. So I can shift-click things, and not have to build a ton of things. I still honestly do not need starch. Like, starch is not, not a concern right now. I'm just gonna fill this place up. I may as well. Even if they aren't being fully worked, they're still producing food. Just at a slower rate. There is no food quality in this game. Just, just like, rate of food coming in. So, my monolith gave me quite a few intruders. That was... That was awesome. Title, title for this episode. Future me, you're gonna be editing this. It's gonna be called My Big Black Monolith. That's... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like My Big Black Monolith. Alright. So, this redundancy was built. I might... Might redundancy a little bit more right here. That was the whole point of this wind turbine anyways, was to act as just a giant redundancy between my base. And this will be good because this was currently only connected by this, so if this got hit by anything, it would be in a really bad spot, but this will be good. We are going to recycle this wind turbine, and see what I can build right here. I'll see what fits. And if nothing really good fits, I will get rid of this solar panel. I may have to use just generic base pads. And that's okay. It's just a way to get over here. And let's see, where does the map end up here? Okay, so I should be able to build on all of this. And on all of this. And maybe I can weasel my way up here a bit. Which my building would stop about right here. So remember how I said I might do tips videos? Uh, someone made a good point. Tip number one, don't build yourself into a corner. 
pretty pretty good tip. Pretty good tip. All right, look at all of that being built. Look at all of it, and it's pretty much going all directly into meal makers. My cabins are at 21% oxygen, so that crisis is fixed. What is this oxygen generator actually? Is it a small one? It is a small one. I don't think I can take take. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't think I can take it out though. I think this has to remain a small oxygen generator. Nope, 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 no. Unless I can... This is really scary to do, because I want to get rid of this, but then I would have no oxygen for the entire area over here. This, this and this oxygen would be trying to provide for all of this. I don't think I can take out that small oxygen generator. Calling a ship. I'm watching you. Okay, it's just... It's just an engineer. It's just an engineer. <laughs> I was scared that there was going to be like four more purple guys, and they were all going to try to shoot me. I don't want to be shot. Lots of power coming in. Power? Where is it charging up? It's currently charging up right here. Power looks pretty good. It just has to charge up. And it's this one. That's a visitor ship, that's fine. And it's this one. Then it should be these two. I should pretty much be filling up my power collectors all the time. Especially with this much wind, holy crap. Yeah, my power collectors should be good. Yeah. That's great. So we got tons of visitors right now, which means tons of coinage. And... I'm starting to realize that I might just need more landing pads. This is getting a little bit silly. Let's actually- oh yeah, let's look at my water grid. How's my water doing? We almost had a water crisis. We almost ran into a water crisis. Um... Actually, can I squeeze it anywhere over here? Like, anywhere at all? No? My wiggle skills are letting me down here. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. It has to go to the right. And it's an outdoor thing too, which sucks. Ugh. Whatever, go here. Water extractor, just, just go in there. Oh hey, I might be able to loop around here, actually. Let's do that, if I can. Little guy, big guy, big guy, yeah! The redundancy circle! Oh, look at that. Look at how cool that is. Look at what I did. We are gonna have so much water over there, it's gonna be amazing. And I might even redundancy right here. Just, just so I, just so I can. Anyways, that's about, that's about... Canteen is out of water. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad... Sandstorm detected. Okay, so Sandstorm detected is the first warning, and then it's Sandstorm is approaching, and then Sandstorm imminent. It's something like that. But, I'm gonna save it right there. This is Planet Base. My name is Nagark, and wow, we are getting so far. And thank you for watching.